Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and welcome to uh, our video on how to use the Mobius Action Cam software. So if you're new to the Mobius Action Cam, haven't used one before, well, now you're going to need to learn how to use the software, which is very easy and straightforward. Uh, now, these things do not come with software when you buy them, which kind of really sucks. They could have at least given us like a, you know, a little flash drive or you know, something, but no, nothing. Anyway, so you're going to have to download the software from the Mobius website, and it's called MSetup, and it's a compressed file, and you can just launch the program from here. However, there are updates that are going to be done to the program, which I got this morning, so something new for me. Um, I figured it would just update it in compressed form that I'm running it in, and it didn't. Because every time I'd relaunch the program, it'd say, a new update's available, a new update's available. It's like, what the heck? So anyways, I got that worked around by simply just dragging and dropping the app onto my desktop, which then created this little guy, which I'm going to blow the icon up so you can see it better, if I can. Probably not. It's probably not going to let me do this. Um, nope. Anyway, so it's going to... Let me just drag it out. So there's highlighted what it looks like there. Uh, let me see if I can show this to you. There you go. So your icon will look like that when it's on your desktop after you've dragged it out of the compressed folder. Now I would make a new folder and put it in and name it Mobius because it's also going to have a configuration file that's going to get created. You don't want to lose that or not know what that's about so make the new folder first and it'll create itself in the folder. Anyways, fire up the program, click once up top here, which highlights your camera. Now you can mess with all your settings. So you have basic settings, sync, date, time, uh, lens type, A, B, or C. You must choose the appropriate lens type for the Mobius cam you have. And if you don't have the lens C, you will not be able to access that, by the way. Um, artificial light frequency, 50 or 60 hertz. I left mine on 60. Recording indicator is on. USB uh, data port charging is enabled, of course. Uh, power off standby, 30 seconds. So if there's no action for 30 seconds, then it automatically shuts down. Power on record, button only, external only, or both or off. I have mine set up as soon as I turn the power on, it automatically starts recording for me. Saves me one extra step. And stopping your recording is as simple as pushing the most forward facing button. And then you can stop your recording, it saves it, you can push it again, starts it again, and so on. You also have a mode button too, which is talked about um, miscellaneous settings. TV out, webcam mode, rotate cam 180. So flip it upside down is the way it goes. So if you need to mount your Mobius upside down and you still, of course, would want that picture right side up, you can automatically have it rotate. So now motion timeout is set for 30 seconds because I have motion detect uh, turned off. Okay, which is kind of cool if you want it set for motion, right? Because um, you can use it kind of like security cam type of thing, or dash cam, whatever type of thing, whenever it notices movement, etc. You know, it's kind of cool. Um, mode 1 and Mode 2s. Mode 1 would be your default mode as soon as you fire up the camera. Okay, video or sound file type. You have three choices. Move, AVI, or MP4. Now the newest tech, of course, out there, MP4. Okay, audio recording is on, video timestamp on and off, rotate the video 180. Now, I have said no in mode 1. Okay, so if I push that mode button, I go to mode 2, I can have it so that it flips it upside down when I'm going to use it on, like, say, a helicopter, right? And I got it mounted upside down, then I would want it flipped, or in other cases, maybe an airplane. Uh, quadcopters, you know, uh, you may want to mount it underneath and you are going to need to probably flip it upside down so you need to flip your video so that your video shows up properly. Resolution 1080p, 720p and WVGA. Now frame rate can go anywhere from 5 seconds, 5 frames per second 
to 60 frames. Now in 1080p, if you hit 60 frames, it automatically will kick you to 720p. So it cannot do 60 frames per second at 1080p. Okay, 30p, we can do 30. 50, can't do 50. So let's see, 20 frames per second, yes, we can do 20, 15, 10, 5, and so on. All right, default 30. Um, time lapse video, you can do all your time lapse stuff here and customize hours, minutes, etc. Mode 2 is going to be exactly the same as mode 1. Photo mode for snapshots, photo timestamp, rotate photos. So again, if you're using it upside down. Uh, time lapse your photos, photo frame size, advanced image settings. This is where you can get more sharpness, exposure, contrast, saturation, low, etc. All kinds of nice little fun stuff you can mess with. You can go back to setting default uh, values at the click of a button. So if you screwed up with something and you don't remember, just hit set defaults. Okay. When you're done programming, you're going to want to hit the uh, set perimeters button. So just take a quick browse through to make sure everything is still exactly where you want it. Miscellaneous mode. I'm going to try out the MP4 and see how it does. Um, I've been using the movie, but you can also do AVI and MP4. So I'm going to try MP4, see how it does. Video frame rates, yep, everything's where I want it. So, set perimeters, boom. If the camera perimeters have been successfully updated, you may now disconnect your camera. Okay, so click OK, exit, and then disconnect your camera. Pretty simple, easy, straightforward to use. Um, like I said, in order to get those program updates, you've got to First go into your compressed folder, copy that to the desktop, throw it into a new folder so it stays uncompressed, and then it'll let you update the program. When there's firmware updates, you'll also be notified of that as well. And uh, you can do your firmware updates. You can go manually check whenever you want on the website uh, for firmware updates too, no problem. And uh, anyway, so yeah, it's been a great camera. I'm really loving this camera. It is very, very awesome. And uh, I've used it as a hack cam. I've used it on some RCs. Um, really like it. It's it's a really nice camera. I think I might want to invest in maybe you know a couple more of these for some other RCs. You know, especially when we go trail riding and that with the crawlers. You know, because it's nice, small, slim profile, which is nice, and you can hide it inside the RC and you know whatnot. But uh, many uses, of course, for Mobius cams, not just for the RC world, but for all kinds of stuff. So, but uh, awesome little thing. And I think I might want to get one eventually to use as just a, you know, all the time dash cam. I haven't decided on that yet, but definitely a worthwhile little rig to pick up. So, anyways guys, that's pretty much it. Covers it. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll catch you on the next video.